Let's talk about whether or not, whether you want to borrow your equipment or buy your equipment. Uh, both are valid options along the way. In the beginning, I really recommend uh, that you do borrow. That you, if you're fencing at a club, uh, that they usually have a lot of equipment available. And uh, borrowing is good, not just because you're not necessarily going to want to make as big of an investment in the beginning, but more so so you get a chance to sample everything. You can try, you can get a feel for what size jacket works best, whether a uh, back zip jacket is going to work for you or you're going to need a side zip, uh, what your favorite glove looks like or, uh, you know, what sort of plastron you like to, to work with. So uh, it's not a bad idea. After a while, however, uh, borrowing gets old because, uh, you know, the fencing gear gets a lot of wear. We, uh, we work hard, so uh, sometimes you don't necessarily want to use something that uh, seven other people have used that evening. And also, if someone else is using your favorite glove and you don't get it that night, uh, if you're spending a great deal of your time fencing, it really uh, soon becomes worth the investment to get some of your own equipment. Uh, it is possible to buy in uh, a store. It's uh, very difficult to find fencing gear in a sporting goods store. Though. So finding a, a good resource for fencing equipment, for quality fencing equipment, uh, can become a little frustrating. You can usually get, uh, you can usually purchase from a school or a club or a fencing gym if you look at what's around in your community. Uh, it's not a bad way to go because you do get to handle what you're buying before you buy it. Uh, but uh, the selection can be limited and you have to deal with the markups that usually accompany a limited selection. So uh, most of the fencers I know buy online. Uh, I buy my stuff online. I usually, uh, I would recommend that you find uh, a resource that has uh, a good variety, that has a reasonable price range. Not just that the prices are fair, but that you have good beginner's equipment and it also has a range up into some quality stuff that's going to last you a long time. Um, customer service is important just because you're not always, if you're not sure about what you're looking for, uh, if you have a good resource, you can ask them to uh, select a foil for you that has the characteristics you like or you know help you out as a left-handed fencer making sure that you have all the right gear uh, return policies and things like that I use um, fencing.net I like uh, I like their products I also like there's a lot of information uh, I can easily find information about all the gear that I'm buying and uh, and they have a good range and good selection of products so um, when you, uh, when you do buy online, feel free to ask questions. I would definitely recommend that if you're not sure about anything, uh, that you ask. And uh, if you get something that's not what you expected, that uh, you send it back. But if you ask enough questions, you never have to worry about that. Uh, also, of course, educating yourself on what it is that you need, on what sort of uh, regulations you need to fulfill, and uh, what you prefer in your fencing gear will help you a lot. So we'll talk about that next.